All right, guys. I'm uh, I'm back from eating some food. And I'm well rested, just like Mario probably is. And continue on with this chapter. I forget what I'm supposed to do. I think we need to find out that Zip Toad isn't actually Zip Toad. I don't know. Why did she go to the hospital? Is it heart or a severe case of indigestion? I thought maybe she was like lovesick or something. Oh, you can make a peach tart. I don't know. I don't know. If it's peach tarts suck. I mean, I guess nice, but it's still a sucky thing to cook because like. If, if it gave you cool statuses, it's fine. And two of them are, but then one of the statuses is sleepy. And being put to sleep isn't great. Oh, that's right. We got to find uh, his suitcase. Does this music usually have like rat squeaks or is it just because of the, this guy? Also, this guy doesn't have a name, at least in the original. He didn't have a name, he's just Rat Businessman. Also, I never noticed, but those curtains, they look a lot like the original curtains in the game. I remember if that's in every room, but I would assume so. So why would they make different curtains for each room? Yep, I already talked to them. They're gonna give me something once I get them. That'd be cool if you could make nitro honey syrup as an item. You just cook a jam and jelly with honey syrup. That'd be pretty cool. Do I need to talk to them again? Because I don't want to go back and forth. I think we need to go back to my room because I think there's some papers in there. Instead of that, or we go to Zip Toad's place. Also, I love how how stanky the sax is. It's really good. Okay, I think we gotta go to Zip Toad's room first, and we find the papers, and then we head off to our. Back to our cabin. I could be using Yoshi right now, but I'm not gonna. I think I'll just have Flurry out for right now. Now, I forget if I need to go back to Pennington. Uh. Oh, you know what? I think we do. Because uh, we will need to use Vivian to bring out Zip Toad. I think we go back and talk to them. Yeah, this feels pretty fast. The only slow part by having to use tube mode, though, is starting it takes a bit, and we have to get out of it for everything. It's amazing he was able to understand that with just a single nod. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think I've ever talked about this, but... So, I remember playing Paper Mario 64, but I never played uh, the original game for a long time. Or this game for a long time. And the reason I actually got into it was because I had a friend uh, at my local library. So the cool thing about our local library was that we, they had a Wii, so they let us play games on there. And I think there is this one Mario Party level that's um, is a train. And so we would play on it and he would talk about this specific part in the Thousand Year Door. You're not going to pop up? Okay. Uh, and so he, he kept talking about this level and I told him uh, if I could play it. And so he let me borrow his copy and I think I still have his copy to this day. So either that or I bought another one from GameStop because I remember I did have a copy of it but it wouldn't let you go past uh, chap before getting into chapter one because it had like a scratch in it or something. And so... I think I might have told him that, and then I got a new one at GameStop. This is back when GameStop still sold uh, GameCube games. And so that's how I was able to actually play this game. <laughs> this is pretty cool. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have been playing That's in Your Door. I feel like I would eventually get to it because, I mean, I played the first one and I have good memories of the first game. Or, Perhaps it's more of a nostalgia, because I was a kid when I played it. But I do have fun with this game. I just thought I'd talk about that. I don't know, it's kind of interesting getting into this game because of a different Mario game <laughs> that the only relation to it is the train thing. I guess they're not going to use the other music that they had for this game. Which is fine, because I kind of do like it. This music is kind of chill. But I was, I was curious if they were actually ever going to use it. Guess not then. I do like the idea of a past enemies working together to take down Mario though. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever noticed this, but the sound that... Because I think each character is making a sound when they move. I like how Vivian's is... It's the sound that Vivian makes. I don't know what to... Describe it as. It's kind of like a whirring sound. I don't like it. Oh, they're using the lay motif here too. Battletoad, when were you on here? You got nothing to tell me? Then why the hell are you here? Oh, Frank says hi, by the way. I kind of wish they added a bit more to this dungeon. It's, it's a little easy. <clears throat> and it doesn't help that most of these, like, dungeons are pretty linear. Probably the closest to an era being kind of non-linear was Pirate's Grotto. And that's probably why I kind of like that part of Chapter 5. Is that you have to kind of go around some stuff. But most of these other dungeons are not like that.
<laughs> I like how it unravels me during this cutscene. Also, I like those little uh, icons. It's a train and then a star. It's nice. I wonder if there's still a part here where you can... Yeah, this little piece you can uh, go into paper mode and fall through. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to come back up the stairs, but you can do that. Uh, I'm going to want Goombella out, though. Just so I can get this tattle. And this is the only enemy in the game that actually resists. Ooh! I love this battle theme. So jazzy. I love jazz. It's like one of my favorite uh, types of music. Oh, looks into that. This is probably my favorite one of the battle themes. This is so good. Especially Big Band Chaz. Oh, I'm a sucker for Big Band Chaz. Oh, that's cool that they actually mentioned that. I forget if that's mentioned in the original. But yep, the only enemy immune to electricity, so... If you like to use, uh... Thunder Rages, or Light, yeah, Thunder Rages, uh, it heals them for that damage. I guess that's why it makes, uh, Shooting Stars, which, if you use, a uh, Point Swap and Thunder Rage, it gives you Shooting Stars. It makes that the, uh, best AoE damage, because nothing is, uh, immune to Shooting Stars. What's the think version of this? Ooh, listen to that bass. That's really good. I'm definitely gonna be listening to this version of the song later when I'm doing other stuff like editing videos. That's pretty good. I know from one of the games I'm working on, I really want there to be a good jazz uh, influence because uh, it's going to be like a game about you being in the big city and I think having uh, jazz is a good uh, genre of music for a big city. I want to see if you can use Veil on these platforms. Wow, I'm really bad at <laughs> knowing when that platform's going to stop. I think it does a full rotation. Okay. Oh, okay, it drops us downwards. I was always curious about that. Because <laughs> it, if it lets you go in the thing, that, I feel like it would break it somehow. Oh, I did it a little early. There's a timing to this. I'm usually bad at it. I just got the bad timing, I guess. I'm going to switch to... Flurry, I guess. Oh my gosh, man. I am just not getting that timing down. I guess I could try using Yoshi for that last part, but I know it's not necessary. Man, what the heck? I might need to cut this if this is going to keep happening. Uh, I don't know if I desynced it. I, I don't think so, because they move independently. 
of Mario, but I'll go back in. Who knows? Okay, you know, I don't know if the puzzle was originally like that, where you have to go back a bit and then come forward, but I remember in the original, you could just step on all four at this, like, going from left to right. I wonder if they changed that. I feel like that's different. I think this is new. I don't remember that ice storm being there. Yeah, I definitely had to cut that out because that took me way too long to figure out. Mainly because that's not how it was in the original, so I was super confused. I do kind of like how it's quiet here, though. It helps make this place a little bit eerie. I think after this part is when you just start hearing music again. Uh, I think I'll need to have Goombella out. Because uh, there are some new enemies here. there's a save block here. Also, this music is different. Did they actually use the unused music? Do I still have the spike badge on? Uh, equip badges? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, <laughs> dang it. I got a live stream too. Too bad I can't steal it. Oh, I tattled these guys? Oh, they must have been in the pit. I guess I'll swap to uh, Coops then. Oh, better him using the live stream to heal than uh, actually have the effect use. How much does Coop do with Power Shell? I know, uh, sh sh uh, Shell Slam does a little bit more and it pierces, but I think that's good enough for Power Shell. Is the music different? I want to say it sounds a little different than in there earlier, but I'm not too sure. It kind of sucks that you can't do uh, another life stream. What the heck? Okay, well, let me do this and see if it does the same amount of damage. Okay, it does a little bit more. So there's benefits in using it. Oh, also I can see a little Goomba in the water poster. Let's use a super shroom. But I can't use it against these guys. Oh, there. You go. I was hoping he'd go down. Just 
Too bad it doesn't do enough damage on Pokey. It's only when you use Pokey's sides that does a lot of damage. Okay, so it does one extra damage with Shell Slam. I don't use Shell Slam all that much, but I mean, it's a good move. Especially later in the pit, that's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a nice mustache on that Goomba there. Also, it's a boo. <laughs> you know what? That looks like a uh ba bow or bows. The boo from '64. <laughs> it looks like her butler. Whatever that is, him. Somebody like playing some tic tac toe. All right. Sorry about that. I just wanted to. Do get a look on those posters there. I was hoping he'd uh, move down. Uh, I guess we can use the Thunder Rage. if he heals because he's already a full anyways. That'd be kind of cool if he like charges him up for his uh, special move. Oh nice, we got a perfect level up. See, what can I add? Maybe HP plus. I do have 7 BP. Do I have quick change? I might do that. I don't have quick change? Uh, I, I guess <laughs> I just because the BP cost is kind of expensive. I, I can see why I didn't choose it. Let's go for Fire Drive, Happy Flower, and Happy Heart. Happy Badges aren't that great, but yeah, whatever. I'm surprised enough them have started going for their charge attacks. Because I think the only one who could do it is probably Yoshi. And that's it. Um trying to think who else could, but I can't really think of anybody. Because Yoshi can do it with a mini egg. Uh, Bobbery could do it, but only if uh, if they're near to the ground. Because I don't know if the I think I might have gotten these tattles already. Yeah, Bobbery can only do it if the the puff is near the ground. Yeah, I did get these guys already. Okay, so I'm just gonna run away because I don't want to fight them. Too much of a hassle. I guess I gotta have a flurry. 
I want to fight them. It's a pretty good badge. If you want to be more glass cannony. Super Shroom there. I don't want it though. They still gonna have the Goombas in this room? I wonder if they're gonna give a better hint towards that. Yeah, the Goombas are still here. Oh, the first strike works in this fight. That's nice. because I did not want to fight them. What does the puzzle say? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's very weird that they have Goombas there. It's fights because they don't really show up in any other location in here. We already got the Ultra Boots. That was quick. Now we can do 10 damage with our Ultra Boots. I wonder if you can first strike this with a super jump. It was kind of hard to do it with enemies. The only ones I could think of were the uh, spider enemies. Or the piter, I guess. Also, it's kind of easy to see where you need to go. Just follow this water line here. Does Gumbella say now what to do? Okay, Yoshi does. Now does it say that we have to hit it with the top of our heads? Now we could head out. There's another trash can here. I think it has a, a dry trim. I guess he didn't need to do this, because I'll just have uh, Lyobert do Stampede. I should get rid of them. Double XP? Ah. Come on, Merle. Where's that curse? And don't give me extra coins. I don't want extra coins. I 
feel like there's something else I'm missing in this area. Is there? I don't know if it's a flurry panel I'm missing. I don't think there's another one of these, like, things hidden here. Oh! Was that the thing that she was thinking of? Hmm, there must be something behind one of these things as well. Ooh, nice store. Get to replace the one I just used. Oops. Hmm, I wonder if that's all the hidden stuff. It's a spite pouch, but I don't want to use that. That's kind of cool that they added more hidden stuff here. This looks like it could be a good thumbnail. Oh, I could hear like a little raven call. That's kind of cool. I wonder if she can blow this down. Oh, a nice storm. Cool, cool. Need some really cool stuff in here. Um, let me use the maple syrup. So you're gonna be there's tons of smorgs, yeah. It's interesting that these creatures only exist in this game. They don't exist in any other Mario game. I have to get rid of all of them. I thought they'd just run away after a while. Yep, there we go. I like how there's just an empty void that <laughs> you can see with the camera. Normally you wouldn't, but the camera... It's one of the few times the camera actually points itself towards the void. Hopefully we don't have to see those smorgs ever again. We can just have a nice, peaceful trip to Poshley Heights. I can get this badge too. there's anything hidden here? I don't think there is, but... Yeah. 
Who is this guy? I don't remember him. Or is he that, that scrub Koopa who always wants to be my bud? Which one is it? Is the one in the front or the one in the back? I can only have one uh, Koopa friend. That's it. And my Koopa friend is much cooler than King K. He can throw out a giant shield and protect me. What can King K do? Does that conductor just stay here? I thought he came on the train with us. Alright, well time to go to sleep. <laughs> 